What's a free service that most people don't know about? MIT OpenCourseWare. Literally all the materials for a bunch of MIT courses all for free. I moved into a town of 10k people and emailed their chamber of commerce to ask if there's anything I should check out as a new person. They got my address and sent the welcome wagon. Her name was Barb and she gave us some local information. Explained about town run events and how the garbage schedule works here. Then she told us about different businesses in town and gave us welcome gifts from a bunch of them. Things like a coupon for a free large pizza and free oil changes and such. If you move to a new place get in touch with the locals. Can definitely confirm this. Smaller towns, especially in more tourist oriented areas will almost always have a chamber of commerce or visitors information center staffed by little old ladies who are more than willing to tell you about local sites and attractions. In Florida if you dial FHP the Florida Highway Patrol will come and jump your car, fix your flat time, tell you, bring you gas, ETC for free, you don't need AAA. In the US, the Cooperative Extension Service, free answers to questions about gardening, farming, and other home related topics, I believe every county has an office, many offer course and workshops. Speaking of farming Uster helps you start a farm. They walk you through everything, and will teach you the ropes. They also stop by every few months for the first few years, to make sure you stay on track. Pluto TV. It's basically live TV with a guide and a traditional cable TV layout. But the programming is naturally live, and contains episode slash clips from earlier. For the price of zero dollars, it's not bad. They have a MST3K channel. If you live in California, and are having some car trouble on the freeway, call 511 and say motorist aid. It is a free state funded service, to help motorists with the ability to change flat tires, jump starting cars, refilling radiators and taping leaky hoses, providing up to a gallon of fuel, and towing disabled vehicles, to designated safe locations off the freeway. I had a flat on the 405, and was unaware of the service until a 511 tow truck came, and changed my tire, and went on his way. Very true, I had a flat tire on the 605, I just pulled over, and trying to remember, if I had roadside assistance, and before I could even look a motorist aid truck pulled up and immediately changed my tire, I wasn't sure, if it was free, and before I could ask he said, had a great day and left, so awesome. They also are not allowed to accept tips. Up stores will accept your Comcast remote router and EVR box, when you cancel service, they return it to Comcast with no charge to you. They will also provide a tracking number, so you know it was returned. I've used it twice, so convenient. They also do Amazon returns and all you have to do is walk in, hand them the item and the label, and they scan it, and you get your refund pretty much immediately. Then they box, and ship it for you. Super convenient. Coles also accepts Amazon returns. Coles has great service all around. Real VNC. Remotely control your computer from your phone. Saved my butt many times when I forgot a really important file at home and used my phone to email it to myself. Chrome Remote Desktop as well. I used to use TeamViewer, but they've gotten greedy recently. And TeamViewer is what all the tech support scammers use. If the dreaded check engine light in your car turns on you can bring it at any AutoZone store for a free diagnostic check. I drive an old car and have saved a lot of money this way. Similarly, where I live Discount Tire will fill your tires with air for free. Discount Tire will fix flats for free, even if you didn't buy your tires from them. Libby, it's a digital library, so you just need a library card, and then you can access thousands of ebooks and audiobooks for free. They can be downloaded for a fly news too. If you need to ship a package, you can go to the USP's website, and get up to 750 shipping labels at a time, free of charge. You can also get a lot of different sized boxes delivered directly to your house free of charge. Picked up 20 boxes from them last week. Video game borrowing from the public library. When I was a kid, my library had an SNES for borrowing. You could sign out for a week. I would borrow, then return. My brother would sign out five minutes later, rinse and repeat. That is a nice trip down nostalgia lane. Good strategy too. Project Gutenberg. Ebooks galore. Link in description. Perfect if you're making a board game. 
Pixabay and a jillion other public domain sites. STD notification. If you find out you have an STD, and want to notify a previous sexual partner anonymously, that they should get checked. There's a phone messaging service you can arrange to have them notify them for you. What a terrible text, that would be to receive. How do you know it was me? It was supposed to be anonymous. Hash why you apostrophe are the only one I slept with, idiot. TSDD. It's some dear sexually transmitted disease. Early intervention. If you have a newborn slash infant slash toddler and you are concerned about their development, please call. It's totally free and the people are as nice as can be. Your child always deserves the best and this is one way to ensure they get the developmental assistance they need, if needed. And even if the services aren't needed, it doesn't hurt just to make sure. This is very important for babies diagnosed with a low incidence disability such as deafness or blindness. EI can mean setting that infant and family up for very positive future success. The Library of Congress. Not free. Your taxes pay for it, but free to use. The librarians there are world class, and have gotten research materials from other countries for me. These librarians are next fucking level. Where da Harry Potter? The Imagination Library. Link in description. Set up by Dolly Parton sends books, meals, and other resources to children 5 and under. You can either donate, receive, or help distribute these services as well. To highlight it for anyone not interested in clicking the link, Dolly Parton started the program, in part because her father never learned to read. She envisioned it to provide free books to her local county. As of today, they've provided over 100 million books in four different countries. TL. Dr. Dolly Parton is a fantastic person and we aren't worthy. I'm pretty sure Dolly Parton is the only person on earth about whom no one has had a single bad thought or thing to say. Keanu Reeves. Bob Ross. Mr. Rogers. Blender. It is a 3D art and animation software that has really nice rendering and sculpting tools. The only catch is that you need a computer with a half-decent graphics card to use the Lattes version, OpenGL 3.3 or higher. But even if you don't have a graphics card of that quality you can still download previous versions of the app. Blender's learning curve is vertical. If you like to read, you can find just about any book here. Link in description. You probably just saved me dollar sign 300. College freshman here. I appreciate the safe kind internet stranger. Most opticals will clean slash adjust slash do screws repairs on your glasses for free. But make sure to ask first. Coles is now taking Amazon returns. You don't need a box or a label. Start the return. And say you are using Coles drop off option. It will give you a quarter code that you will show to the person taking the return. And they will scan it. Simple as that. I always love the opportunity to be able to mention. Link in description. Because it is such a wonderful and free resource. It has millions of free downloads for music. Link in description. Movies. Link in description. Books. Link in description. Software. Link in description. Comma. Etc. One very popular example is that it is home to a very large catalog of Grateful Dead recordings. Link in description. It also has the Internet Arcade. Link in description. Where you can play a lot of classic games along with a console living room. Link in description. Which is similar. They have access to tons of old PC games too. And you can even play the original Oregon Trail online. Link in description. It also has the Wayback Machine. Link in description which has archived more than 380 billion web pages saved over time, so you can go back and see how websites were years ago. For example, here's Reddit on July 25th, 2005, link in description, a month after it was created. The Wayback Machine, where I found lost pictures of my Boston Terrier as a puppy. I was searching all over after he passed at 14. Then someone told me about that site, and remembered that I used to have a website in 2002, that I used to store pictures. Okay, that's the most wholesome thing I've read today, I think I would have cried. Some schools and universities have counseling graduate programs, that need clients to practice with. You can get free counseling, and the students get experience. Another option for counseling, if you don't have a lot of money slash insurance is looking for agencies that do sliding scale fees. It's counseling for a reduced price, as long as you meet the income guidelines. No idea if anyone has mentioned, but Photopia is basically a free online photoshop. Just download Jim. 
GIMP isn't beginner friendly. DaVinci Resolve is a free editing software that is, just as good as the ones you pay for, if not better. I'm looking at you Sony Vegas. Ice free file. If you make below a certain amount, around dollar sign 66k, but it goes up a little each year. You can use several brand name tax prep software like TurboTax or H&R Block for free. Link in description. There's a reply all podcast about how Intuit, TurboTax's parent have lobbied, and almost monopolized tax filing in the US. And how they make it almost impossible for customers, to file returns for free, if they are eligible. More people should be aware of this. They also lobby to keep taxes difficult to do. So people have to hire someone. Dirty bastards. In Australia, your elected federal representative can give you a, free flag. Link in description. I wonder how much trouble I'd get in as a US citizen trying to get an Australian flag. Illegal impersonation of an Australian comes to mind ha. Huh? USPS informed delivery. Link in description. You get to see the exteriors of your letters before Newman drops them in your mailbox. Hoopla. All you need is your library card number and you can access ebooks, TV shows, movies, and music. Sounds like a lot of. Hoopla. Sounds like a lot. Hoopla. Sounds like. Hoopla. Condoms. I hear so many people use the excuse of they are too expensive for unprotected sex. There are lots of schools, universities, pharmacies, or health clinics that will provide condoms free of charge. Check our your local county council's website and they will likely have a section on it. If anyone says condoms are too expensive, the correct response is to give them some condoms. Condoms were too expensive when I was in college. Even the free ones from the school health center. That's why I didn't have sex.